Hi there, so I've been super busy recently. I've just finished doing my recent online workshop. I've got another one coming up in October. Now that's currently 20% off with the early bird discount. So there's a code for that in the description to this video and on my website. So if you're interested in that, do check it out. So before I took a little break to do my workshop, I was working on these three little panels. I don't know if you've seen those videos. I'll pop a link up up here uh, for the little series that I was working on. Uh, they've gone through different stages, but they've been sort of sitting dormant for a little while while I was doing other things. But yeah, it'd be nice to get these going again. So I'm gonna do a bit of painting on these. Now, while I've been posting on my Instagram page recently, with some paintings because I want to talk about my next workshop, which has a lot of this kind of painting in it, these sort of sketches with lots of collage in them. I've been looking at those paintings. This is a book I did a few years ago. Um, it's got some really nice ones in it. I really enjoyed doing these. There's lots of collage and uh, cropping, not big paintings on paper. I crop them down and collage. I'm sure you've seen me do these sorts of things before, but this is the kind of stuff that I'm gonna be doing in my workshop in October. But I was looking at some of these and thinking, I really like the way they've come together. They're a little bit more kind of obvious landscapey, I suppose. And I really like that. I'm kind of in the mood for that at the moment. So I quite like to push these boards a bit more in this direction, this kind of nice expressive kind of landscape. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with these. I might grab a bit of collage work and do a bit of collage onto these now, and then I can kind of see where it goes as I start doing the painting. I have a big sheet of paper. It's actually three sheets of paper, which I glued together because I wanted to make some big expressive marks on. This is actually part of a project uh, that I was doing with my online membership group, putting this sheet of paper together, working on it in a very kind of expressive way, not thinking about the composition. Uh, so we can kind of crop it up and use it for uh, collage and crops later on. But there's some quite nice bits in here. I haven't done anything with it yet. So I thought it might be quite nice to take some of this uh, color and the mark making and actually use this to collage into these little boards. So I want to kind of reinvigorate them, get my interest in them moving again, try and push them in a slightly new direction. So I'm gonna have a go at that. Hope you enjoy watching.
that was a lot of fun. I spent rather longer on this one than I was expecting to. I was going to go backwards and forwards with them a little bit more. I like to kind of carry ideas from one to the other. Uh, but I spent a little bit longer on that one than I was intending to for this video. So I'll probably leave this second one for the next video and I'll do a similar kind of thing on that one, push that one forward a little bit. But as you can see, I was trying all sorts of different things. I just wanted to change them completely, just push them in a completely new direction. I'm looking at things like this. As I was saying earlier, this is actually on paper. This is um, not on board. It started on paper and it's got quite a lot of collage on it as well. And the similar materials that I'm working on with these as well, just the acrylics and pastels, oil pastels, soft pastels, pencils, all that kind of stuff and just acrylic paint. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to change them completely, push them in a different direction. I like layering up the collage. That's a lot of fun. Getting the paint on, letting it drip and run and just finding those unexpected things which I've got a direction to them, but I'm still allowing them to have some space to do something unexpected and a little bit random on the surface, which is the way I like to work. I like to be sort of in control, but slightly out of control. Try and find those natural textures, and shapes. So that's, yeah, it's coming on. It's got a little bit more energy to it. It feel like it's going in the right direction. It's a little bit more kind of sky, land, <laughs> wind, energy, movement, all that kind of stuff that I like in my paintings. This one, just the collage for now, a little bit of uh, oil pastel on the top, but I didn't really develop that one as far as I was going to. So yeah, I'll do that one in the next video. And if you want to see how these started out, do check out the link that was up here earlier. And uh, that will take you back to the beginning of this little series. So as I was saying earlier, if you're interested in my workshops, I've got my next online workshop coming up in October and it's all about doing this kind of work. Work on paper, getting ideas, doing collage, cropping, just really generating exciting visual ideas for your paintings. They work as paintings on their own, but they also give you ideas for studio work, bigger work, that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, please do check out the link here that's on the screen and then the description to the video and I'll see you soon.